The Church of St. Benedict is in Rome's famous Trastevere neighborhood. But interestingly, the congregation is celebrating the legacy of St. Rita, since it's because of her that this historic church was reopened. This church was known as the St. Rita Church in Trastevere, because in 1938 a woman's prayers were answered by a miracle of St. Rita. So devotion to this saint became very strong here in Trastevere. The church was closed, but this woman reopened it to pay homage. My grandmother, Elvira Rinaldi, had not asked for anything in particular. But one day when she was at a store, she smelled a strong aroma of roses. Then at night, she had a dream where a nun told her to undergo an eighth operation, since doctors couldn't find what was wrong with her. Well, after that operation, she was cured. She wanted to do something for St. Rita, so she asked for that church to be reopened. It's been 74 years now, but the family of Maria Cristina Parmiani still follows the tradition her grandmother started back in 1938. In fact, the granddaughter, along with the pastor, organized a yearly gathering in honor of St. Rita. Every year, it ends on May 22nd with a solemn ceremony. In just a matter of hours, about 3,000 pilgrims pass by this church, and each one takes a rose and a piece of bread. A rose because, according to tradition, St. Rita found one in the middle of winter. The piece of bread has a completely different meaning. This lady wanted to include St. Anthony in this tradition, since he has a church nearby. So the rose is a symbol of St. Rita, and the bread represents the love and generosity God has with us. In total, about 4,000 roses were distributed, and about 66 pounds of bread were handed out. It's a special yearly celebration with a special cause that takes place right in the heart of Rome.